In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the function stack, and this is going to be really useful for us when we talk about recursion. So if I asked you to trace through this code, even though we have several different methods here, we're going to start at main. Now, because we've started with main, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it onto the bottom of the function stack. You can see here that main has two different things that it has to do. It has to call method2, and then once method2 is finished, it has to call method1. So when main calls method2, what's actually going to happen is we're going to push method2 onto the top of the stack. Now here you can see that method2 has been called, and it only has one thing that it has to do, which is a simple console.write line. So we'll go ahead and do that, and you can see that the output is going to be method2 was called. Now that method2 has finished all of the things that it needs to do, we can actually pop it from the stack. And in doing so, it's actually going to return us back to main. Now if you'll notice, main has finished with the first thing that it needed to do. Next, it moves on to its call to method1. And so in a similar fashion, what's going to happen is that we push method1 onto the stack. In this case, you can see that method1 has three different things that it needs to accomplish. So the first thing is a simple print, so it prints out method1 was called. And then immediately after that, it calls method2. So just like we saw before, method2 gets pushed on the top of the stack. Again, the only thing that method2 had to do in this case was a simple print, so it prints out method2 was called, at which point method2 is now finished. So now that method2 is done, we can remove it from the stack, and notice that we put the comment here that method1 has finished the second thing that it needed to do. So it can move on to the third thing, and then it's going to print out method1 still alive. Now if you notice at this point, method1 has completed all three of its tasks, so we can pop it from the stack as well, and that's going to return us back to main at which point you can see that main has finished the last thing that it needed to do. So that's it for this tutorial. It was a pretty short one, but I think that you'll see understanding the function stack is really going to benefit us when we start talking about recursion.